Eve Rod Sky, Fair Play, a game-changing solution for when you have too much to do and more life to live. Welcome to the summary of a Fair Play, a game-changing solution for when you have too much to do and more life to live, a book by Eve Rodsky that sheds light on the commonly unbalanced division of labor between spouses, particularly after the arrival of children. This summary will discuss the reasons many mothers end up taking on the second shift, the routine, unpaid work that comes with household and childcare responsibilities. We will also cover the toll that invisible work takes on women's mental health, relationships, and careers, and the factors that contribute to the undervaluation of their time. Finally, the summary introduces the Fair Play card game designed to help couples reassess and redistribute family-related tasks more fairly and effectively. Navigating Parenthood's Invisible Work With the arrival of children, a marriage's dynamics shift, often leaving mothers handling the majority of household chores and emotional labor. This invisible work includes both the second shift, the unpaid work in addition to regular jobs, and managing the family's emotional well-being. Mothers are expected to keep up with the enormous mental load this creates, resulting in anxiety, fatigue, and forgetfulness. Despite these added responsibilities, their efforts generally go unnoticed by their partners, potentially leading to negative consequences within the relationship. Parenthood adds a new dimension to marriage, usually leading to an imbalance in the division of labor. In the beginning, couples often evenly distribute work and are able to focus on their careers. However, when children come along, the balance shifts, and mothers typically find themselves taking on more tasks. The arrival of children introduces the concept of the second shift for mothers. This term refers to the unpaid work they do for their families, such as packing lunches, doing laundry, or grocery shopping in addition to their paid jobs. Fathers, on the other hand, typically remain focused on their day jobs. Another burden that mothers carry is emotional labor. They are responsible for maintaining family relationships and ensuring everyone's emotional well being. This includes calling in laws, sending birthday cards to relatives, and comforting children in distress. While emotional labor can be an essential aspect of good parenting, it becomes draining when the responsibility falls solely on the mother's shoulders. To manage these added responsibilities, mothers develop a mental to-do list, encompassing several family-related tasks. This constant juggling act leads to mental overload, contributing to anxiety, fatigue, and forgetfulness. Despite the substantial amount of invisible work mothers undertake, their efforts frequently go unacknowledged by their partners. The unnoticed tasks, such as keeping the household running smoothly or managing children's schedules, are known as invisible work. This imbalance and lack of recognition may have significant negative effects on marriage. In the forthcoming sections, the consequences of this unequal division of labor will be further examined, shedding light on its impact on relationships. The Hidden Cost of Motherhood Eve Rodsky's discovery of the impact of the second shift on mothers reveals how the extra workload at home significantly affects their relationships, mental health, and career growth. From declining marital satisfaction and overwhelming stress to the unfair setbacks in their professional life, mothers face daunting challenges that ultimately put them at a massive economic disadvantage. Eve Rodsky, a loving mother, found herself drowning in responsibilities and questioned the impact on her personal well-being. After research, she unveiled the detrimental effects of the second shift, the work women do at home after their day jobs, on mothers everywhere. Let's examine how the second shift wreaks havoc on a mother's marriage. Despite sharing the parenting role, women still shoulder more housework and childcare responsibilities than men, creating a space for resentment and isolation within the relationship. Studies show that women burdened with more invisible work report lower marital satisfaction. The weight of the second shift doesn't stop at relationships. It invades a mother's mental health too, causing stress and exhaustion. A survey reveals that out of 7,000 American moms, most rated their stress levels at 8.5 on a 10-point scale. With 80% of moms being too preoccupied with family care to attend to themselves, 
it's not surprising that women are diagnosed with anxiety disorders twice as much as men. Furthermore, the second shift hinders a woman's career. Mothers face a wider pay gap than their childless counterparts, as they struggle to fit the traditional image of a dedicated worker. Consequently, they're often perceived as less competent by their employers. This mindset results in a mother tax, a 5 to 10 percent income reduction per child, fewer salary raises, and missed career development opportunities. The stark reality is that when women become mothers, they take on a substantial economic risk. The second shift not only costs them their well being but also their future potential. Valuing time equally. Eve Rodsky's experience highlights the problem of unequal perception of men and women's time. This can be overcome by redefining the importance of unpaid work and household chores, as well as allocating duties fairly between partners. Time should be measured in hours, not dollars, emphasizing that both partners have limited time and equal responsibility at home. Long days are not uncommon for many, but for Eve Rodsky, one particular day stands out. Upon returning home after an exhausting day, she discovered trash left in her garden, much to her dismay. Seth, her husband, had been home for hours but had left it there, expecting Eve to deal with it. This situation begs the question, why was it deemed acceptable for him to leave it for her? The truth is rooted in the way society perceives men and women's time. Generally, men's time is seen as a precious, finite resource, comparable to a diamond. In contrast, women's time is viewed as sand, something infinite, and easily dispersed for tasks like cleaning up garbage. This mindset inevitably leads to an uneven distribution of responsibilities. To evaluate if you and your partner possess similar attitudes, ask yourself these questions, is your partner's professional time more valuable than the time you spend on parental duties? Are your unpaid, unacknowledged tasks less significant than your partner's paid and highly visible work? A resounding, no, should be the answer. Breaking free from this damaging mindset requires a fair division of household and childcare duties between you and your partner. However, addressing and overcoming ingrained, toxic assumptions remains necessary. One such belief is the misguided equation of time and money. Primary breadwinning men often consider their time more valuable because they receive higher compensation at work. Eve's husband, for instance, deemed his working hours too precious to interrupt for urgent family needs. To achieve a fairer domestic arrangement, it's crucial to reassess the concept of time. Time should only be measured in hours, never dollars. Like your partner, you too have a limited number of hours each day, indicating that it is equally the responsibility of both partners to attend to family matters and chores, regardless of whether it means ending a work call early. By redefining the significance of unpaid work and fairly allocating responsibilities, mutual respect and understanding can be fostered within partnerships. Rediscover passion amidst motherhood. Motherhood often causes women to give up their passions and interests, leading to a loss of personal identity. It's essential for mothers to continue pursuing their interests if they hope to maintain a sense of self, engage in engaging conversations, and create a fairer division of labor within their household. By reconnecting with the passions that define them before becoming a mother, women can inspire their partners to share the domestic load and reignite their self-worth. Becoming a mother brings immense joy and growth but can also lead to dramatic changes in a woman's identity. Take Ellen, for example. She was a successful interior designer who started her own company, but after starting a family, she sold her business and focused solely on her children and household. In doing so, she lost the passionate and driven woman she once was. It's a common struggle for mothers, as additional responsibilities often mean sacrificing personal interests. Many women, like Ellen, feel too exhausted to engage in activities outside of family life and work commitments. Worryingly, some believe they no longer have permission to prioritize their interests, from themselves or their partners. Unfortunately, this results in many mothers feeling uninteresting to others and even themselves. After Ellen traded her passion for interior design for her family, she found herself with nothing to discuss at social events except for her children, 
home, and pets. Eventually, this loss of identity contributed to the breakdown of her marriage. Retaining personal interests isn't solely about staying interesting. It's crucial for maintaining a sense of self and achieving a more equal division of labor at home. Researcher Eve's interviews with parents revealed that men are more likely to share domestic responsibilities if it enables their partner to pursue her passions. Interestingly, men reported valuing and feeling proud of their partner's achievements and interests. In conclusion, to lighten the burden and rediscover oneself, mothers should prioritize reconnecting with the passions that define them before motherhood. Doing so not only benefits their self-worth but can also inspire their spouse to contribute more to household duties. Fair Play, Balanced Domestic Life Eve Rodsky's card game, Fair Play, helps couples become more aware of their domestic responsibilities and balance the load. The game consists of 100 cards in five categories, home, out, caregiving, magic, and wild. Each card represents a task typically performed by one partner. By delegating cards and taking turns completing the tasks, both partners can better understand their roles and work towards a more balanced domestic life. Imagine a card game that lets you and your partner analyze and distribute domestic tasks, revealing how much each of you contributes to your family. Eve Rodsky's Fair Play is precisely that game. Here's how it works. Start by creating 100 cards, dividing them into five categories, reflecting the various aspects of your domestic life. The first category, home, consists of daily tasks like doing laundry, taking out the trash, writing shopping lists, and preparing kids' lunches. These activities typically occur within the household. The out category represents tasks performed outside your home, such as driving children to school, dropping them off at extracurricular activities, or taking the family car for servicing. These tasks involve errands and transportation. Caregiving is the third category and includes caring activities that primarily fall on women, like toilet training children, walking the dog, helping with homework, and reading bedtime stories. These tasks focus on nurturing and supporting family members. The fourth category, magic, is all about going the extra mile to create special moments for your loved ones. These tasks might include organizing birthday parties or comforting a child after a nightmare. Magic tasks are rewarding but often go unnoticed as invisible work. Lastly, the wild category covers significant, challenging life events such as moving house or coping with loss. These tasks can be overwhelming, and it's encouraged to ask your partner for help when dealing with a wild card. To begin playing Fair Play, assign each card to the partner who usually handles that task. This process sheds light on the division of responsibilities in your relationship, motivating you both to work towards a more balanced domestic life. By being aware of your partner's efforts and collaborating on daunting tasks, the game fosters communication and understanding in your relationship, making your home life more harmonious and enjoyable. So, deal the cards and start playing. Rethink your family responsibilities. As a couple, you've decided to work as collaborators instead of scorekeeping competitors. To make this a reality, it's crucial to avoid default roles and gender stereotypes when dealing with tasks. Focus on tasks that matter to either of you, and discard those that aren't genuinely valuable to your family. Break free from the pressure to do everything and create a more fulfilling life for you and your partner. Embarking on a new chapter in your relationship, you've chosen to collaborate as partners and leave behind the competitive mindset. To make this a successful transition, here are a few essential ground rules to follow. 1. Discard default roles, avoid assigning tasks based on past roles or gender stereotypes. Each family responsibility should be dealt with because it matters to you, not because it's expected from you. 2. Consider individual preferences. When dealing with family tasks, assess what's important to either of you. If something holds value for one partner but not the other, the person who values it should take responsibility for the task. 3. Reevaluate tasks. If a task isn't important to either of you or your family, there's no need to keep doing it just because society expects you to. Be honest about what matters to your family and let go of tasks that don't contribute to your happiness.
Take Sarah's story, for example. She discovered that attending children's birthday parties wasn't as important to her family as she thought. After a sincere discussion with her husband, they agreed to only attend such events when it involved close friends or relatives. This decision freed up their weekends and resulted in a happier family life. Embrace this mindset and watch your family dynamics transform. By prioritizing tasks that genuinely matter to you and your partner, you'll create a more satisfying life for your family. Remember, it's not about doing everything, but cherishing what truly matters to both of you. Dealing the parenting deck As you and your partner begin to share parenting responsibilities, it's essential to deal the tasks on a fair, equal basis without imposing gender stereotypes or unnecessary expectations. Focus on tasks that hold value for both of you, and don't be afraid to remove activities that neither one of you truly values. This way, your family can prioritize quality time and experiences instead. You and your partner have reached an important stage in your relationship, it's time to work together as a team, embracing collaboration instead of tallying points like rivals. In this new phase, there are a few ground rules to keep in mind. Firstly, don't assign tasks by default or based on gender stereotypes. Distribute responsibilities solely on their significance to each of you, and challenge any assumptions about who should be handling each task. For example, don't assume your husband should handle all household maintenance or you should always be responsible for making packed lunches. A task should be assigned only if it matters significantly to one partner and not the other, and not because one person expects the other to do it. For instance, if attending weekly church services matters to you but not your spouse, take charge of that responsibility. In addition, be cautious about tasks that hold little to no real value for either of you. For example, Sarah and her husband both dreaded taking their son to children's birthday parties. After realizing that neither of them enjoyed this activity, and their son wasn't fond of it either, they decided to attend only parties for close friends and family. By dropping this task, they regained precious weekend time. Ultimately, be honest about which responsibilities are truly important to you and your partner, and be open to re-evaluating or discarding tasks that don't bring value to your family. You don't have to do everything, focus on what genuinely enriches your lives together. Mastering the CPE of Housework in the realm of domestic duties, understanding the concept of conceiving, planning, and executing, CPE, is vital to ensure a balanced and efficient division of labor. Fair play, a system which makes all labor visible, assigns household tasks as cards and encourages transparency and involvement in the entire CPE process. This method reduces misunderstandings and fosters a harmonious family environment. Eve Rodsky, in her research, discovered a common theme, many individuals fail to comprehend the nuances of the three aspects that encompass every household task, conceiving, planning, and executing, or CPE for short. For instance, a father claimed he prepared all the evening meals, but failed to acknowledge that the conception and planning stages were primarily handled by his wife. She was responsible for creating meal plans, shopping for groceries, and setting up the kitchen for him to execute the task, cooking. Consequently, the father's overestimation of his contribution was a classic example of the CPE imbalance in domestic labor. A key principle of fair play is keeping the CPE elements inseparable, since separating them could lead to chaotic situations. Consider a mother who discovered an unexpected commitment clashing with her daughter's attendance at a birthday party. Though she was responsible for the children's birthday party's card, she asked her husband to take their daughter instead. Unfortunately, the mother failed to share pertinent information, resulting in the child missing the party. This mishap was a direct consequence of splitting the CPE components. The mother had conceived and planned by knowing when and where the party was taking place but failed to inform her husband, who was supposed to execute. The solution to this problem is redistributing the entire card, involving the other person in the entire CPE process. By doing so, they would have had the necessary information and could have avoided the unfortunate outcome. It's crucial to understand that overlooking responsibilities is rarely intentional. 
Both men and women can neglect crucial steps of the CPE process due to various reasons. However, good intentions alone cannot create a balanced and efficient household system. Fair play focuses on making all aspects of labor visible, allowing families to create and maintain a harmonious, equitable environment. By following the fair play system and ensuring that all parties involved understand and participate in the CPE process, families can avert misunderstandings and promote a balanced division of domestic tasks. In conclusion, fair play, a game-changing solution for when you have too much to do and more life to live, addresses the inequalities and unfair burden that many mothers face when it comes to household chores, emotional labor, and childcare tasks. Eve Rodsky provides a comprehensive understanding of the challenges faced by women and offers the fair play card game as a practical, easy to implement, and engaging solution for couples to restructure and rediscover balance within their partnership. By following the concepts and recommendations presented in the book, couples can achieve a much healthier, more equitable dynamic, ultimately leading to improved mental health, marital satisfaction, and overall family well-being.